Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a new release from Kylie Minogue to go through. It is the new Kylie Minogue Darling. So you might remember that this was, I think her first perfume 15 years ago. And this and all her other fragrances were discontinued, but now this has just been re-released for 2021, exclusive to the perfume shop. So I'm gonna be letting you know what this smells like and give you my review and first impressions. If you are new here, then hello, welcome. We're all about perfumes. Check out my hundreds and hundreds of other videos. I just did a video actually on my top recommendations, best celebrity scents. So I'll leave that link down below. Celebrity scents are definitely not to be underestimated. Some of them are really good and they're always at amazing prices. And if you're a regular viewer, do check to see if you're subscribed, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications and don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter. Uh, link will be down below in the description box along with the links to my website where you can check out all my detailed written perfume reviews. Cool, so this is actually the 12th perfume. So I remember when I used to work in the perfume shop, in a perfume shop many years ago now, um, back when she was still releasing new ones, the Kylie perfumes were pretty popular. I would recommend them if someone was looking for an affordable everyday type perfume. And then at Christmas they do gift sets and they were always, and they were always really good value value as well. So I was surprised that they were actually discontinued. I mean, Kylie's still pretty popular. I was at Glastonbury when she played last and everyone was going mad for it. So um, yeah, I don't know why they were discontinued. Anyway, this is now back. I believe that Kylie is moving back to Australia. She's been living in the UK for a long time. It was interesting while I was Googling to find out about this, um, a lot of Kylie Cosmetics stuff comes up because I guess she is the most famous Kylie in the world now, not Kylie Minogue. So I wonder what Kylie thinks about that. But anyway, to get into the perfume. So this comes in two sizes. This is a 70 mil, there's also a smaller one. And the first impressions I get for this when I spray it are a powdery note and a fruity note. So they have kept the same perfume ingredients as in the original Darling. So this isn't a whole new smell. I don't have the old version to, to, to hand, I don't own it, to do a direct comparison. So if you do still have it, try this and let me know, do you think it's exactly the same or is it different? Let me know in the comments. But from what I recall, it feels the same. So this is definitely a feminine fragrance. It's quite soft. There is a vanilla in here, but I wouldn't describe this as a sweet perfume because a lily, a freesia, and some amber wood create this powdery floral scent. So it's definitely quite a grown up scent. I wouldn't say that this would be something that, you know, a 15 year old would go for or a 21 year old. I'd say this is more, you know, someone more grown up looking for something during the day, perhaps to the office, that kind of vibe, quite practical and feminine. And then the fruity notes that you get are a lychee and a passion fruit, and they come through. Um, they're not sweet fruity, they are fresh tropical fruity. But I have to say, as they dry down, they don't really stay there. And the lily and the freezer are what comes through along with that powdery, ambery undertone. And of course, the vanilla. It kind of reminds me a bit of a hairspray type smell, and I don't mean that in a bad way. That sort of backstage, different cosmetics type smell, like it's definitely feminine. Perhaps this was sort of inspired by, you know, all the products it uses backstage. I don't know, it's that kind of vibe. So this large size, this 70 mil, is actually 17.99. So that's incredibly good value. So you can't really complain at something that's that that price. I think the bottle as well have been quite thin and curls quite thick. I think this would easily carry in your handbag, in your gym bag. You know, it's quite a practical all-round perfume, I think, for an everyday scent. It is an eau de parfum, but personally, I find it performs closer to an eau de toilette. I think if you sprayed this quite a lot, maybe six, seven sprays, then you would get some pretty good performance out of it. But if you just do a couple of sprays, I think you are going to want to reapply it a few hours later. So it depends what you want from it, I guess. But at that price, then you don't mind spraying it loads, right? So I see that people are really happy that this has been brought back. I'm sure lots of people will be picking this up for nostalgia and remembering that first release, especially at $17.99. But guys, let me know what you think of it. Do you like the Kylie fragrances? Which one of the different 
12 ones are your favorite let me know in the comments down below um, but that's it guys as always i'll leave the description in a link in the description box where you can buy this but that's it guys thank you so much for watching as always and i will see you in the next video bye